Hello friends, this video on why do we fall ill part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Right? Okay. So now that we have spoken enough about health, what is the significance of health? Well, how do we define health? Why do we need a good health? So now it is time that we talk about disease. Diseases are something which directly affect our physical health. So now we will talk about what are diseases, what are the different types of diseases, what causes them and how can we cure them, right? So let us try to understand what is a disease. The term disease itself is a short form of disturbed ease. So if you say, if you see here, you can see that this this disturbed ease actually makes up disease. What do you mean by disturbed ease? That means you are not much comfortable. So ease means comfort. So when you are not feeling comfortable, that means you are having some problems, right? So disease results in a change in either the functioning or the appearance of one or more systems of the body for the worse. So that means maybe any system of the body is not functioning properly maybe your digestive system is not working working properly so in that case you will not be able to digest your food so in that case there are tendency there are possibilities that you might have vomitings or you might have loose motions right similarly if if let us suppose you are having some problems in your eye you got some infection or you got some allergy in your eye so what will happen there will be swelling in your eye there will be redness there will be the, the your, your eyes will become watery right so all these problems will be there so whenever there is any change in your body either in the functioning of the system or in the appearance so it is not always only about the functioning sometimes it is the functioning for example the digestive system example which i gave there the functioning of the digestive system was not proper even though you were looking absolutely fine but sometimes it is the appearance of the body changes for example you get a cut in your arm so that means there is a change in the appearance of your skin as well Right? So either the appearance or the functioning changes, you feel uncomfortable, so then you say that you are suffering from a disease. Now when I say uncomfortable, so we can feel uncomfortable in many different scenarios. For example, maybe when you are suffering from fever, you are having high temperature, you feel uncomfortable, right? You do not, you don't feel the same as you are when you don't have fever right or when you are having when you caught cold or cough you are continuously sneezing or your nose is always flowing or you are coughing badly so in that case also you will feel uncomfortable you can also feel uncomfortable when you have headache so headache is something which actually spoils our day when you have headache you cannot concentrate on anything you cannot work properly you cannot watch television you don't at all feel like being awake you always feel like sleeping right Sometimes when you are suffering from diseases like malaria, typhoid, even after you have been cured, you get a lot of weakness. So you tend to feel weak. You don't feel that being that activeness in your body. You always feel like you feel drowsy, right? Sometimes it also happens that you have pain in different parts of your body. Sometimes you might get stomach ache. Why stomach ache? Maybe you are down with stomach ache, but somebody is parting in your uh, intestine, somewhere in the intestine. So in this picture, you can see that who are parting, it is none else but the germs who are actually parting in your intestine, but you are down with stomach pain or vomiting or loose motion, so things like that, right? So that is again a, a situation where you feel uncomfortable, correct? Okay, there are scenarios where there are change in the appearance of the body. For example, here in these pictures, you can see that this f first guy, he maybe he has met some accident and that is why he got one of his legs broken. So the leg has fractured, right? So there is a change in the appearance. Similarly, in the second picture, you can see that the guy is wounded right so there is a change in the appearance in his body so these kind of wounds can happen because of accidents or because of war or because you have hurt yourself somewhere right so these are some of the scenarios where you actually feel very uncomfortable and then you say that you are suffering from a disease now when I talk of disease, it becomes very important to talk about the signs and symptoms of a disease. How do you actually know that you are suffering from a disease? 
Now, a person who is suffering will know only when he starts feeling something uncomfortable. Right? Only then he gets to know that maybe something is wrong inside his body. Now, so what do we call as symptoms? Symptoms of disease are the things which we feel as being wrong. For example, if we are getting headache. So when I feel that I'm having headaches, I feel that maybe something is wrong with my body because I'm having headache. So similarly, sometimes we feel pu pukish, we feel like vomiting, right? So that sensation of vomiting makes us feel that maybe something wrong is happening in our body. So these are known as the symptoms of disease. Symptoms indicate that there might be a disease. So now if you have this sim symptom, that does not necessarily mean that you have the disease. Right. For example, sometimes it happens that maybe you have worked too much or because of too much exertion, you got headache. Right. Now, when you get headache, you feel that, oh, I'm having headache. So headache doesn't mean that you will have some severe disease like brain fever or something. Correct. So it, it just indicates that there might be a disease, but it might also happen that maybe because of exertion or because of too much work, you had headache. So you take rest for some time and the headache goes off. Right? So the symptoms does not necessarily say that there is a disease, but it says that there might be a disease. Now, what do we mean by signs of a disease? So this was all about symptoms. So when I say symptoms, that means something which we feel as wrong. When I talk about signs of a disease, these are the things a doctor looks for on the basis of symptoms. Now, let us suppose you had headache. Right? You felt that maybe something is wrong in my body. You take rest for an hour or two. You still feel that the headache is still there. So in that case, what do we generally do? We visit a doctor. Right? Now, as soon as you go to the doctor, the doctor doesn't start examining you at once. Right? The doctor will ask you, what happened to you? How are you feeling? Now, based on whatever you say, the doctors will try to identify the disease. So the things which a doctor look for on the basis of symptoms, they are known as signs of a disease. Right? So you say that I am having headache. So now on the basis of the fact that you are having headache, the doctor will also try to check few more things. He will try to check if you are having fever as well. He will also try to check if uh, you are having cold as well or if you are having pain in some other bar part of the body. right? So the doctor will look for certain other things in order to check if what does that indicate so signs indicate presence of a particular disease so now if the doctor feels that now let us suppose you said that you have headache so that is the only thing which you told so that was the symptom which you felt now based on your symptom so based on the fact that you have headache the doctor will ask if you have fever as well now let us suppose you say that yeah i have fever also now the doctor will ask, do you have loose motions as well? You say that, yes, I have loose motion also. So now based on whatever you say, the doctor will actually diagnose which disease is this. So the doctor will say, let us suppose, for example, the doctor will say that, okay, so the, this looks like that it, it might be this disease, right? So when the signs which the doctor is looking for comes out to be true, it actually indicates that there is a specific disease maybe if these are the signs if headache uh, fever and uh, loose motions if all these things let us suppose these are the symptoms of for example let us consider it, these are the examples of viral flu so the doctor will say that i feel flu is the disease with which you are suffering right so the symptoms just indicate that there might be a disease but the signs indicate that this might be this particular disease so signs indicate a particular disease but symptoms indicate that it can be a disease it cannot be a disease as well right so the main difference between even though the terms symptoms and signs look very similar but there are differences between the two when i talk of symptom i we are talking about the things which we feel wrong and when we talk about signs, we are talking about the things which the doctor look for. Symptoms might or might not be a disease, but signs indicate presence of a particular disease. Right? Okay. So with this, let us try to look at the two categories of diseases. 
so we will talk about acute diseases and chronic diseases and how do they differ from each other so when i talk of acute diseases what are they diseases which last for very short periods of time that means you have some disease for example let us look at some of the examples like common cold cough flu tonsillitis appendicitis most headaches these are some of the diseases which happen which last for a very short period of time and they do not have much negative effects on our body for example when you get headache what happens you get headache it lasts for maybe a couple of hours 3 to 4 hours you take rest for some time or maybe you take a medicine and after 4 to 5 hours you are absolutely fine so there are no after effects of headaches similarly if you get common cold you sneeze for a few couple of days maybe one or two days and after that you get well so these are the diseases which last for very short periods of time and they do not affect your body very badly right so some of the examples are flu common cold headaches on the other hand what are chronic diseases diseases which opt which last for a very long time so there are diseases like that as well for example asthma diabetes glaucoma and allergy so when you think of asthma asthma what is asthma is it is a kind of disease where you have breathing problems so many people have these diseases since they were a child so since their childhood till their old age throughout their life they have this asthma for which they keep taking uh, medicines they keep doing exercises and all to make it better but still it lasts for a longer time so when a disease is lasting for your lifetime then it is obviously going to have some negative effects on your body similarly there is another disease like diabetes what is diabetes i mean I, it is a very common disease which maybe even you have some diabetic patient at your home when the sugar level in the body increases right so these this is again something which which is there for a very long time so it affects your body glaucoma what is glaucoma it is a disease of the eye so what happens in this in this is a disease where the optic nerve of the eye get gets damaged what is the optic nerve optic nerve is a nerve which actually takes sends the signals from eye to brain for example whatever we see we see a tree how do we know that we are seeing a tree because our eyes just help us to see the tree but it is a tree that message is conveyed by the brain so whatever we see that is transferred to the brain via the optic nerve so in glaucoma the optic nerve gets damaged and that is why in due course of time the patient can also become blind right so glaucoma again is a kind of disease which if you get it once it lasts for a very longer period of time now however if it is detected quite early then the treatment can be done and it can become okay but still it has some effect on the patient's body similarly allergies you you might know many people who are allergic to few things for example some people are allergic to pollen so whenever they go out in greenery in little cold weather they tend to catch cold so these kind of allergies also last for years together right so you now you understand what are acute diseases and what are chronic diseases chronic diseases are all long lasting diseases which will affect your body badly and acute diseases are the diseases which last for a very short period of time and they do not leave much bad effects on your body thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again